it's always difficult when you, you don't make finals and it's certainly a disappointing year for us this year so probably a lot of disappointment um, around the boys at the moment um, particularly from this time last year the emotion was, was obviously severe disappointment but at the same time we'd, we're proud of the efforts that we'd put forward all year whereas this year we feel like we've let ourselves down a bit with um, where we've got to and uh, the way we've played throughout the year. In saying that though I do believe in the last half a year we've certainly um, made some some big improvements and got back to playing at the level that we need to to be really competitive as a side. The, the team review was, was really good and I think healthy for the group to see um, basically a lot of numbers and where we sit now in the competition um, compared to this time last year. Um, so you don't have to be a rocket science to work out that we've, we've dropped off in a number of KPI um, and you know, key areas of, of where we play our footy. So, um, pretty much means we're going to have to do a lot of work over the summer. Um, but in saying that, so we also saw you know, uh, some stats for the last half of the year which, which indicated that we're heading in the right direction. So if we're able to at least maintain that as a minimum uh, moving forward and uh, train, train our butts off over the pre-season and come back uh, you know, in better shape again and also in, uh, in a better attitude and mindset that we can really attack the, you know, the, the 2014 season. I've got no doubt that we'll be able to improve um, you know, pretty quickly. We weren't able to win as many close games as what we did the year before. Um, I think we won, it was about three from seven um, games within two goals, so that's, that's disappointing. Well, I guess the number 12 months ago would have been um, definitely around the other way. So uh, we've got to make sure that we put ourselves in winning positions in games, and when we do, we, we actually win them. So that's going to be a, a good challenge for us moving forward. And also the disappointing thing was we had a, a number of injuries to some key players throughout the year, and guys coming in and out of the side within different forms. So. Um, I guess in the years that you have, the uh, best years at your football club are when there's a settled side and um, you know, we certainly didn't, didn't get that as much as we would have liked this year. The biggest positive would have to be the young blokes that came in and played. Um, they brought energy to the group um, and not only that, they came and they played some really pivotal roles for us. Um, you know, Brody Smith continues to develop and he's going to be an absolute jet for us in the future, I believe he already is. You know, playing some outstanding footy. You've got Rory Laird and Luke Brown down back as well that were just rocks. They were playing like they were 30 years old and they were in their first seasons. Um, Cole Hardigan comes in and plays a few games for us and shows that he's going to be a player. Um, through the midfield we've got Mitch Grigg and Brad Crouch who were simply outstanding coming in as, as virtually first year players to, to come in and play. You know, the way that they did with the poise that they did I think is really exciting for, for us as teammates and for supporters as well. Um, and then guys like Tom Lynch and You've got um, Josh Jenkins who continued to develop, Sam Kerridge up forward as well. So there was a lot of positives, I think, from our young guys that came in and played some, some really uh, important roles for us and um, show that we've got a real bright future. Because these guys coming through, they're, they're so energetic, they're so eager and determined to, to get a spot on the side that it's, um, it's naturally going to keep everyone on edge, which is, which is what you want um, to keep yourself at the the top end of the competition so it's always been what we've spoken about when we're in good form and playing good footy is that there's healthy competition for spots and the young guys will certainly provide that. They'll come back hungrier again after another pre-season and uh, yeah it's going to be um, it's going to be on for spots which is going to be a good sign for us. I think it's uh, it's a lot of consistency which we spoke about um, throughout the year. I mean against West Coast was our, our most consistent four quarter performance for, for a long while so um, that to me says there's, there's got to be improvement in that area of our game. We need to be um, you know, relentless throughout the whole season and play with the expected intensity, um, you know, be better with our skills throughout games because we've burnt a lot of opportunities through the midfield and missed shots in front of goal that we shouldn't have. So um, it's, it's a lot of a flow on effect from the, you know, the way that we're playing but I think there's still certainly a lot of, uh, lot of upside there. We've, we've done it 12 months ago so we can certainly uh, improve on it pretty quickly. We're better than where we're at this year, that's for sure. And I think um, internally we have, we've always said we have high expectations and we've just got to make sure that we, we keep ourselves honest with where we're at at the moment um, and what it's going to take to, to get us back to, to where we should be, which is um, certainly higher than 11th on the ladder. And it's just going to come with a lot of hard work and, and us being hard and demanding on each other as well.